Ah, hello time travelers, and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to this channel and enjoy learning historical events from around the world, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today we're going to start out in 42 BCE when Tiberius II, Roman Emperor, and the adopted son of Augustus was born. In 1272, a British monarch, Henry III, died at the age of 65. In 18 or 1632, Swedish King Gustav Il Adolf died during the Battle of Luditz. Though his forces were victorious, his cause was skillful directed by his chief advisor, Axel Octavian. In 1776, St. Eustin became the first foreign government to recognize the fledgling United States. And for those who are wondering, fledgling means like new. In this sense, it's like a new country. Um, in 1836, Alcoa, the last king and second to last monarch of Hawaii from 1874 to 1891 was born. In 1855, British explorer David Livingstone was the first European to see Victoria Falls. In 1922, Portuguese novelist Jose Samaro won the 1998 Nobel Prize for Literature, or who won the 1998 Nobel Prize for Literature, was born. Uh, 1960 is when actor Clark Gable, who emphasized the American ideal of masculinity for three decades and was known as the King of Hollywood, died of a heart attack days after finishing work on The Misfits that premiered the following year in 1961. 13 years later, in 1973, the Transatlantic Pan Pipeline Authorization Act was signed by U.S. President Richard Nixon. The pipeline, which connects the oil fields of Prudhoe Bay in northern Alaska with the harbor at Valdez, became operational four years later. Benzor Bhutto, elected Prime Minister of Pakistan on this day in 1988, became the first woman in modern history to lead a Muslim country, serving as Prime Minister from 1988 to 1990, and again from 1993 to 1996. Six years after the turn of the century, in 2006, American economic, economist Milton Freedom, who was a, a leading prominent of monetarism and won the 1976 Nobel Prize for Economics, died at the age of 94. And our final event happened in 2010 when a Apple Inc. announces that as a result of an agreement with the music company EMI, the music of the Beatles is now for the first time available on Apple's online music store and iTunes. And with that, we will return to 2024 and our current history. Now let's head into the animal kingdom for the 95th animal fact 
where honeypot ants swell up to a huge size with food. Honeypot ants have been seen to be believed uh, during the wet season. Certain ants consume or huge amounts of nectar, making their abdomens swell up to the size of a grape. Then during the dry season, they provide other ants with food by throwing the nectar back up again. Yum. Ugh. Anyway, now let's head into the uh, science lab where our dead cells are eaten by other cells in our body. Don't worry, it's meant to happen. When cells inside your body die, they're scavenged by uh, phytocytes, white blood cells, whose job it is to digest other cells. And with that, if you enjoy learning new different things from around the world, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. I'll see you all in the next one.